interestingly, it wasn't actually the movie that got me to read this. Honestly, when I first heard about The Hunger Games as a movie, I thought it was just some more Harry Potter shit. However, it did come up in a discussion during a NaNoWriMo social, and what I heard really did pique my interest. As it is written in the Treaty of Treason, every year the twelve districts of Pan Am will offer up in tribute one young man and woman between the ages of twelve and eighteen to fight to the death. When her sister Primrose is picked during her first reaping, Katniss Everdeen volunteers as tribute for the Hunger Games. First person present tense throughout, one thing this does remarkably well is build the world without Katniss being conveniently placed to overhear something plot critical. The only time this perspective ever becomes a slight issue is when Katniss's thoughts begin to wander, or she begins to reminisce right in the middle of something, and it can be a little jarring. It's been a while since I was a young adult, although even when I was a young adult, I never really read anything specific for that age group. I basically went from the mandatory school reading list all the way to Sharp's Tiger without any steps in between. My only other real experience with young adult fiction, then, has been Frank Bedore's The Looking Glass Wars, which, as an aside, I, I thought was actually quite entertaining and a fairly imaginative piece of work. But whereas The Looking Glass Wars leans more towards the young, The Hunger Games definitely leans more towards the adult, which is probably for the best, given that The Hunger Games is a yearly event in which 24 young adults fight to the death until only one remains. So uh, I'll get this out of the way now. The violence, when it hits, is nicely brutal and quite bloody. Although it's all told from the perspective of Katniss Everdeen, there is little left to the imagination, with the Tracker Jack kill being particularly nasty. But beyond that, what Connors does wonderfully here, as far as I'm concerned, is to show that no one, with the possible exception of President Snow, is actually a bad guy. Certainly there are antagonists for Katniss to overcome, and some of the participants, uh, many of the career tributes, are arrogant bastards. But our direct line to the thoughts of Katniss makes it abundantly clear what it is these Hunger Games do to the participants, and there's always this feeling that Katniss herself isn't far off becoming so. The best touch by far, though, is in how the people of the capital are represented. The Hunger Games are reality TV taken to an extreme, and to the people of the capital it's nothing more than a show. But that doesn't necessarily make them bad people. The people preparing Katniss for the games aren't bloodthirsty psychopaths that get off on watching kids kill each other. They're just people doing their job. Uh, the fact that they're preparing someone on their way to a likely death is neither here nor there. President Snow and those in charge of the Hunger Games, however, are complete pricks. Now, I won't tell you as to why, as that would spoil far too much. The characters as a whole are... okay. I mean, certainly there's not a lot of interaction between Katniss and the other tributes, so it's more about what they do that you'll remember, as opposed to what they are. There was one moment uh, in this novel that reduced me to tears. It, it, it was one of those moments that you, you kind of knew was coming, or you knew that it would have to come at some point, but it was nevertheless fantastically written and added a genuine emotional punch to the novel. There are a couple of issues dotted throughout, though. I mean, during the games themselves, there seems to be a, a, a lot of downtime. I suppose I expected it to be more of a running battle or a tense slice of cat and mouse, but it's not, which is a little shame. Although when it does heat up, it is quite entertaining. Also, the fact that we focus solely on Katniss Everdeen is a slight shame. I would have quite liked to have some reactions, I suppose, from the people of, at the very least, District 12, if not all the other districts, uh, during the games themselves, instead of relying on Katniss guessing or assuming that they would be reacting in a certain way. Overall, though, I found this to be a damn fine read. It won't be for everyone, this is true, but don't let the fact that this is listed as a young adult novel put you off. 